In my quest to declutter my life after burnout, I decided to start in my room because that's where I spend a lot of my downtime and relaxing. So um, the first place I started was with my desk. Now you didn't get to see the before, but here is the after. As you can see, there is a clean surface. I just have my important things here in the middle, some books. Those are my journals and important papers and a book I leave open to a specific page so that I can read in the morning. I also have some little trinket things that make me happy, like a little glass jar of sea glass and rocks that I collected on the beach one day when I went alone, and a mug and some bookmarks. This is one of the bookmarks that a student made for me. Um, so just some pretty things that make me happy. Um, but I have the rest of my room that I need to take care of, and I'll take you on a tour of the cluttered, piled spots. Uh, hang on a second. Okay, so we have that over there is a trash in a trash can. It's not just a pile of trash. Here is some laundry. This is my work bag that comes to work with me every day. And I have my exercise equipment there. It stayed there for a long time. <laughs> a pair of shoes and over here there's another laundry basket both of the laundry baskets have clean clothes in them I just need to put them away then in this little corner here is um, oh, it's all of my journals from my whole entire life in those two buckets these are some important books that I took off of our bookshelf in our living room when we cleaned it out and then these are some craft supplies that ended up there on the floor. Coming over here, um, this is the first place I stop each morning. I mean, each um, afternoon when I come home from work and I take off my shoes and I take off my jewelry before I change my clothes. So I've got tons of shoes there. Then over here we have the two chairs and there's really not much to do there. I took all the stuff off of those. In this corner here, I have a bunch of things that need to go to the thrift store. My bed, I made it. There's a cat. Say hi, Cleo. Say hi to the people. And on the floor here is another cat. Say hi, Clementine. And then there are a variety of cat toys on the floor because my cats follow me wherever I go. So their cat toys end up everywhere. And these cats like strings. So there's lots of strings on the floor that they play with. There's another string and talking about that string, it's led us to another corner. <laughs> and here's another pile of stuff. Over there are some birthday presents from students from August. This is a bag of snacks I've been meaning to bring to my classroom. That's my camera bag for a camera I don't use anymore. And this is the bane of my existence, which is a pile of mail. And then we have my nightstand with a variety of little things that can be put away. Another chair. This is a cat chair. And then we come back around to my desk, which is now all cleaned up. And lastly, sorry, my mirror 
and I want to take these things off of the sides even though that's very convenient I'd like it to be clean and cleared up and the reason why I'm whispering is because it's 5 30 in the morning and this is when I have time to show you these things when I'm energized so um, that's my room and this is where we're gonna start the decluttering my life while I work my way out of burnout.